Hey there, Steelers Nation! Things in Pittsburgh have been crazy lately, and you won't believe what's been going on behind the scenes. Let's start by talking about the new offensive coordinator, Arthur Smith. He talked about George Pickens and surprised everyone with some interesting details. Stay tuned, because right after that we'll discuss a controversy involving Caleb Williams, the Bears rookie, and Russell Wilson, which is generating quite a bit of controversy. Leave your like and don't miss any of the latest news from your favorite team. In 2024, the Pittsburgh Steelers are set to experience a transformative offensive strategy under the new offensive coordinator, Arthur Smith. Following a lackluster 2023 season, the Steelers initiated several key changes, including the significant hiring of Smith and the trading away of wide receiver Deontay Johnson. This places George Pickens in the spotlight as the primary receiver, a role that will test his ability to lead the team's receiving core. Smith recently shared his observations on working with Pickens, noting his daily progress and the instinctive nature of his play. This insight, shared via a team-provided transcript, aims to temper the prevailing concerns about Pickens' attitude and effort, which have been topics of discussion among fans and commentators alike. George has shown consistent progress. I was particularly impressed with his performance during our two-minute drills, Smith explained. He's an intuitive player who understands the game deeply. My interactions with him have been extremely positive, and he's proving to be indispensable to our offensive plans. Pickens' commitment was under scrutiny last season, highlighted by an incident where he did not block effectively during a key play. In response, the Steelers brought in Zach Azani as the new wide receivers coach. Azani, known for his stringent coaching style and intolerance for lackadaisical effort, has already made his presence felt. An early training camp dispute between Azani and Pickens, while initially alarming, underscores a new level of accountability within the team. Azani's coaching could be pivotal in harnessing Pickens' potential and guiding him toward a more leadership-oriented role. As Pickens enters his third season, expectations are high for him to adopt a more constructive attitude and emerge as a team leader. Pickens possesses exceptional talent, evident from his 115 receptions for 1,941 yards and nine touchdowns over two seasons. With the team's offensive enhancements, he is poised for a breakout season that could define his career trajectory. However, this upcoming season will also challenge him to handle sophisticated defensive schemes and increased attention from opposing teams. The 2024 season will be crucial in determining the future direction of both Pickens and the Steelers' offense. Success will depend on his ability to rise to the occasion and embrace the heightened expectations, potentially securing his position as a cornerstone for the Steelers. Conversely, failure to adjust his attitude and performance could jeopardize his tenure with the team. Steelers fans and analysts alike will be watching closely to see if the changes brought by Smith and the influence of Azani will catalyze a significant improvement in the team's offensive output compared to last year. And if you think the changes to our offensive line are shocking, just wait until you hear about the controversy surrounding Bears' Caleb Williams. It's time to see what's going on. The Chicago Bears' newest quarterback, Caleb Williams, found himself at the center of controversy recently when he reportedly asked his teammates to tidy up the locker room more diligently during training camp. This request didn't sit well with former New York Giants wide receiver and Super Bowl champion Amani Toomer. During a segment on FS1's The Carton Show, Toomer didn't hold back his thoughts, likening Williams to former Seattle Seahawks and current Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Russell Wilson, who has faced his own share of locker room criticisms. He's Russell Wilson 2.0, Toomer remarked, according to Dylan Svoboda of the New York Post. This is not going to go over well. Some rookie's going to come in who hasn't played one snap, talking, wearing the fingernail polish. Now he's going to come in here and tell me who has been here, been through the struggle that I need to clean up. Williams, who was the first overall pick in this year's NFL draft, has been shadowed by his Hollywood persona and questions about his passion for football. Scouts have been skeptical, placing him last in immeasurables among quarterbacks in his draft class. Toomer continued, expressing a traditional view that rookies should earn their stripes before stepping into leadership roles. No, how about you, rookie? How about you clean up after me? Don't give me this crap, he said. I don't like it at all. I feel like rookies should earn their respect. Just because you got drafted, no, one doesn't mean nothing to me. Despite Toomer's strong opinions, many veteran Bears players seem unbothered by Williams' request. Additionally, 
Williams has shown commitment to his NFL career, adopting elements of Tom Brady's famed TB12 diet. As of now, Williams is the favorite to win the Offensive Rookie of the Year award, according to DraftKings Sportsbook, with odds of plus 135. Should he live up to these high expectations, the criticism from figures like Toomer may soon be forgotten by the end of the season. With Arthur Smith at the helm, we have a unique opportunity to see our offense shine like never before. George Pickens has everything it takes to excel, but he needs to live up to expectations. And speaking of expectations, Caleb Williams is causing a stir. But if he truly delivers on his promises, this whole story could end up being just a blip on the road to success. Don't miss any of the upcoming updates. Click on the video that's appearing on your screen right now and stay up to date.